Water quality failure can range from very simple taste and odor to complaints to the serious health related issues. The challenge is that if something goes wrong, it goes really, really wrong. And one of the examples is Walkerton, North Battleford, what happened in those areas. Because there was no system which basically protects consumers. This project was funded by ANZA, which is a strategic project grant a few years back. It was a three-year research and what our main focus was how we can make this thing cheaper and how we can make this thing accessible to a lot of municipalities. So we come up with a decision support tool which has this ability to diagnose and provide prognosis. Interesting thing about this research was that it was very multidisciplinary. We have three researchers, including myself as a lead from this campus. I have a background in civil engineering and two researchers from mechanical program, which has expertise in artificial intelligence, robotics, and one researcher has expertise in sensor side. We developed some tools, which started from hydraulic modeling to water quality modeling, then developing some artificial intelligence based tools, how we can use information based on those tools to process and make some decision making. And this decision making will be feeding into helping those decision support tool to provide some feedback for, to take some decision actions. We have published around 20 journal articles in the top journals in the water area in sensor technology. And some of our students who graduated under this program are on good position at this moment and working in the water quality arena.